so much for having us, Marina. This is Marina from Red Bee Honey out here in West End, Connecticut. You're very oh, welcome. This is really cool. I'm fascinated by bees and honey, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I know zero, like zero. <laughs> so it's even a blank canvas right now, and I wanna learn everything there is to know about bees, and she is the absolute expert. Well, I'm really excited to have you Gorgeous. here. Bees are really exciting. They're, they've made their way into my life. I was looking for something to do on the weekends. Just a hobby. To get it, yeah, a <laughs> hobby to get into the garden and to really take advantage of the yard here. So a neighbor had introduced me to beekeeping, and this is about 15, 16 years ago. And like you, I knew nothing about bees, and I was actually afraid of bees. Yeah. But I went over there, and he opened up the hive, and it was like an amazing experience to be so up close to the yeah. bees. And then I got to taste the fresh honey. Like nothing like it. In the hive, you know, in the hot sun, warm, beautiful honey. And it was the most delicious thing I'd ever had. I had never tasted the oh real goodness. pure fresh honey you can buy bees in boxes they come in three pound boxes no with a queen way. and, a, and so. a worker it looks like a shoe box with some screening and back then when i got my first um, package of bees you had to order them through the post office so what? that literally i Comes had in the to, mail. they come in the what? mail one of the things that you learn is that the bees behavior everything is about the queen okay. so the queen gives off a chemical smell called a pheromone that's why they call it the queen bee because she's the queen. the queen that's so funny so each bee will go back to their own hive because of their queen smell so and the queen's yes. pheromones <laughs> go all around the hive and each bee knows what that wow. smell is so they go back to their queen and the workers are the female bees, and they make up the largest population in the hive. So the workers will go out to flowers. They'll land on a flower with nectar. They'll suck it up with their tongue, okay. which is like a straw. And they carry it back to the hive, and then they mix some of their enzymes to break down the sucrose, which is nectar, mm -hmm. which is like a sugar. And they'll break it down to fructose and glucose, and then they will put it into those little hexagon um, and who cells? makes those hexagons? The bees do. The workers. The workers do. They actually secrete wax, and they will make this beautiful honeycomb, and then um, they will bring back the nectar to the hive, and then they will hand it over to a younger house bee, and the okay. house bee will take it. She'll put it into the honeycomb cell, and then the bees flap their wings to bring the water content down to 17 18%. And when it's perfectly cured and the nectar is 100% to honey, they'll cap the cell with more beeswax. And then they just will continue making honey as long as there's nectar available, as long as the weather is right. good, it's not too rainy, not too cold. If there are no flowers, there's no honey. If there's no flowers, true? there's no honey. This is really, really cool. I've been fascinated by bees, and I've always known bees like honey, but there's so much more to it than than most people know. So I really can't wait to get out there and see them working. They're pretty calm, but they're high activity right now. I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what's going on. Never been this close to bees before? No. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, okay, what do we got here? Wow. Amazing. Oh. This is honey. You can see oh all the gosh. honey that's capped. It's really beautiful. It's unbelievable. Do you want to hold it? Okay. <laughs> Be brave. Be brave. Okay. And you are going to hold it from where I am. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, inhale, breathe. Okay. And there you go. Oh my Look goodness. at that. Turn around. Oh my goodness. There you go. Oh. You're a beekeeper. Holy moly. Okay. There you go. Oh. See, they're very calm. This is unbelievable. I've never been this close to a bee. And they're not even biting my toes, even though they're exposed. <laughs> okay, we're going to slowly close up the hive. Oh Grab the smoker okay. and give me a smoke up here. Just give it a little smoke under the white. This is incredible. There you go. Wow. One of the things that I learned about bees and honey is that when bees visit specific flowers, 
They will gather the nectar from specific flowers, and the honey takes on a very unique flavor. Depending on which flower they visit. Exactly. So different flowers make different kinds of honeys. And look at the different colors. It's incredible. It's amazing, yeah. <laughs> wow, so it's all honey. There are hundreds of different flowers in the United States and hundreds of different nectar-bearing plants that bees make honey from. The real interesting aha moment when you're tasting honey is to taste them side by side, because when in your life do you ever get the opportunity exactly. to taste honey honeys. side by side? So you should do them alone, not with try, honey. Try them straight up, and, okay. and then you'll get the floral so notes, cool. and then you can try it with some apples or bread. So what's this one? This is linden honey. It's a very um, early spring, summer mm. honey from the basswood tree. Yum. This honey has a little bit of um, like green notes. That's really nice. It should have a little bit of a camphor finish. So the next one's really interesting. This is goldenrod. This is a plant that most of us call weeds. It's blooming right now, September. Goldenrod, goldenrod blooms all around uh, the East Coast. And this honey is pretty amazing. Mm. It's very bright and very yeah. florally, right? It's very big and full. Yum. This one, the first of the dark one, this one we call bamboo or red bamboo, but it's actually from a plant called the Japanese knotweed, which is a weed, we call it, but weed. the bees really like it. It's a very important floral source. Mm. You'll get notes of like brown sugar, caramel. Reminds it does me taste a little like kind of richer. Yeah, molasses. Molassesy, yeah. Uh huh. Amazing, Very rich right? And thi mm. This one is buckwheat honey. This is buckwheat. one of the darkest honeys. I actually put some buckwheat flour in this sourdough bread. Oh, that's I made. awesome. So I wonder if it'll go really nicely together. Well, I'm buckwheat is grown buck for seeds, and they take the seeds and they make flour, but the bees love the nectar from the flour. Let's see this one. Ooh, this is very strong. Yeah. Very yeasty. Whoa. And it has like that sizzle at the end. Like yeah. a bitter. Bitter. It's definitely a very strong one. Yeah, people think this smells and like tastes like. a little like intense. That's good. I intense. I like it. <laughs> I kind of like the intense one. I love toasting bread with some honeycomb, and I have mm. a piece. This is you the way. You could eat this. You can eat the wax. Bees are basically amazing. vegetarians. They only eat honey and pollen. So it's a plant-based wax that they make and it's completely edible. Wow. Oh my God, I kind of like it with the wax. It kind of gets stuck in your teeth, but I love it. Exactly, it gives it a little kind of like texture. A yeah. A little edginess. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we try our sourdough bread? Absolutely. I I'm, made you some fresh sourdough this morning. I'm like on a sourdough craze. I'm dying to try your you go. Bread. I kind of mixed a million different things. I put in some whole, I don't, I don't, I never follow recipes. I just kind of make my own thing up. I did some buckwheat flour. I did some whole wheat flour. So you haven't wow, lived if you haven't had fresh honeycomb. Yeah. That's my. Wow. I so agree with that. Cheers. To happy, healthy new year, huh? Mmm. Mm. It's excellent on the bread. Mm. Wow. We need a I'm so happy right now. I'm, I can't Un stop. Unbelievable. Look what mommy took this. On blueberry. On the blueberry? Here. This one's blue. Take it. Just mix, mix, mix. Okay. Now you pick it up. Give a little smell. What do you think? What do you taste? What do you taste? What is that? Blueberry. Yeah, she tastes the blueberry. <laughs> Wow, that was quite the adventure, and I finally feel like I know about honey, and I'm gonna think of it so differently going forward. Um, so I just really wanted to thank you so much, Marina, for having us, You're and welcome. we will be seeing you soon. Maybe we'll even buy some bees. Don't tell that. <laughs> and that is how Dee Dee delivers. <laughs>